Hello and welcome to the Warjet Discovering the A-Series Advantage webinar. Uh, we're going to talk today about a series that uh, I really enjoy talking about, uh, our A-Series water jet system uh, and some of the reasons uh, why it, it really is one of the most unique uh, water jet systems and, and, and versatile systems on the market. So. For years, people have known Warjet to uh, make any number of systems, uh, multiple sizes and applications, anything from our uh, smaller 5x5 system, uh, multiple uh, headed systems, three, four, or five heads, uh, multiple configurations, able to process multiple sheets at a time, uh, and then up to a fully custom system with five feet of Z travel, uh, 20, 30, 40 feet of uh, uh, cutting envelope. Um, but in all that time as water jet technology became more and more accepted uh, and, and used in a, a number of different areas, uh, we did notice that there was uh, one area that was being underserved. Uh, this came primarily from uh, educational markets, from our uh, material testing labs, uh, and prototyping. Uh, and they came up with a, a set of needs that really needed to be fulfilled. And those were, first and foremost, a compact footprint. So for a lab or a school setting, uh, they do not have uh, you know, a 40 by 40 area where they can uh, put a standard water jet in and worry about uh, uh, spacing of uh, equipment and uh, uh, safety features, things like that. So a compact footprint was very important to be able to fit into these labs. Um, along with that also comes hand-in-hand uh, -hand safety and clean operation. Part of being next to other uh, equipment or, or in a tight situation is it has to be safe. Again, you don't have that the, the luxury of uh, three, four, six, seven feet around a machine uh, to mitigate spray or abrasive um, and keep that area clean. So being able to keep that uh, a very clean and safe operation was, was very important. Along with the spray and the abrasive comes sound protection. Again, if you're in a, a low ceilinged room or a pretty tight quarters, the sound from a water jet uh, operating and piercing uh, in, in air, if you've ever heard that in operation, can be pretty loud. So uh, trying to dampen the sound to make that, again, as safe for the operator as possible. Um, with all our systems, we always try to strive to make these easy and fun to operate. Uh, but especially in a school setting or in a prototype lab, uh, we want this to be a machine that people are excited to use. So if you do have an application, you want to make a one-off or you're trying a, a new geometry for something, we want this to be the machine that you, you go to to use some of the benefits of water jet cutting. Uh, as well as in a school setting, uh, we want this to be approachable. We want uh, students to understand uh, what water jet technology can do. And if we put up too much of a barrier to entry with uh, an overly complicated control scheme or something that's just not enjoyable to use, uh, they're not gonna be as apt to uh, wanna try to use that and discover all the advantages that water jet, and specifically water jet, water jets have. Um, but the biggest thing with all of those other things combined, the compact footprint, trying to keep everything safe and fun was uh, we want this to be a fully featured water jet system. Uh, we did not want to skimp on uh, the cutting pressure and the kind of productivity that you can get out of any other water jet system that we produce. Uh, we didn't want this to be uh, something where you could produce something in two minutes on our larger systems, but it takes you 15 minutes to cut the same piece out uh, on a lower pressure system uh, with smaller nozzle and orifice, and you're just not getting that um, uh, the real experience of a water jet. Uh, same thing with prototyping. If you prototype and you want to see how you can scale this up into a production setting, you want to know how long it's going to take you to produce these on an actual system and not on a pared down system. So with all of those challenges, we presented this to our design team uh, and, and thought about this for a very long time and said, uh, what is the system that we can produce that will uh, tick all these boxes and, and outperform um, our needs? And with that, we developed the A-Series water jet system. So we'd like to go into a little bit of detail to show you a little bit about how it's made and some of the design uh, choices that we made uh, to create, like I said, one of the most, if not the most unique water jet system on the market today. Warjet's A-Series water jet is a compact yet powerful cutting system that makes no compromise in cutting capability. While the machine itself features an extremely small footprint, it can efficiently process the same materials as our most industrial water jets. The space-saving design of the A-Series makes it a perfect solution for manufacturers, fabricators, and makers who require heavy-duty machining capabilities but are limited by floor space. 
As with all of Board Jet's water jets, the A-Series is fabricated completely in-house at our Talmadge, Ohio facility. The frame is reinforced with box-welded channels and tie beams that help to eliminate vibration during cutting. The machine's bulk feed hopper and electrical box are encompassed within the front and back walls, and the side walls were extended to deflect splashback. Two optional features reside completely within the boundaries of the tank, including the automated water level control system, as well as Ward Jet's abrasive removal system, designed to continuously pull spent abrasive from the machine. To ensure ease of use, an ergonomic tow kick was cut out of the tank walls, allowing the operator to load and unload the machine without bending over. This tow kick also acts as a lift point, allowing the water jet to easily be moved with either a pallet jack or a forklift. The unique engineering of the A-Series side beams offers many advantages over traditional designs. They are comprised of custom extrusions that are mounted to the outside of the machine's tank. By mounting the side beams externally, the major components of the drive system are protected from potential splashback and overspray. The side beams are connected to the crossbeam via two low-profile mounting plates, allowing the crossbeam to hang within the tank and minimizing the gap between the tank and the enclosure. Brush seals were then added to prevent water and abrasive from escaping the tank. While maximizing drive system protection, mounting the side beams on the outside of the tank allows for easy servicing of these components. Some of the most innovative features of the A-Series reside on the machine's crossbeam. While virtually every water jet cutting system features a drive system mounted on the front of the crossbeam, the A-Series drive is mounted on the back. By placing the rack and pinion, linear rails, and motors on the back of the gantry, the drive system is completely protected from a direct hit from the water jet cutting stream. To achieve this configuration, Ward Jet engineers designed a custom wraparound that slips over the crossbeam. The motor is mounted to the back of the wraparound, and the cutting head is mounted to the front. Precision machined out of a single piece of aluminum, the wraparound is both lightweight and rigid, allowing it to move quickly while maintaining extreme accuracies. In order to prevent overspray from damaging machinery in the vicinity of the A-Series, an effective yet accessible enclosure was needed. The A-Series enclosure features a sliding hinge door that is easy to open, as well as a safety locking mechanism that will prevent the door from sliding out of place while in position. This innovative system allows full access to the cutting table without obstructing the controller. The enclosure also features an open top, allowing for both overhead crane and forklift access. And the overall height of the structure allows the A-Series to be placed in buildings with ceilings as low as 9 feet. The A-Series controller is accessible, convenient, and easy to use. Mounted directly to the tank, the controller is always within reach, giving operators the flexibility to quickly make changes to the program. Featuring Wardjet's motion control software, Move, the A-Series controller puts the full functionality of the water jet at the operator's fingertips. Available with cutting envelopes of 2 feet by 4 feet or 4 feet by 4 feet, the A-Series can be tailored to meet your business's manufacturing needs. So as you can see, there are tons of innovative and interesting design concepts used in the development of the A-Series. So in adding to that, we wanted to try to see how we can add additional value uh, to the A-Series, especially uh, in these circumstances where we're talking about educational facilities, uh, secondary schools, even high schools, uh, as well as uh, multi-user environments uh, looking to train people. So we developed our uh, war jet, water jet curriculum. Uh, so this is a series of different lessons uh, ranging from uh, extremely simple operation to what are your parts of a water jet, uh, understanding the main components and how things uh, interact with one another, all the way up to advanced uh, concepts such as uh, how speed and uh, stream quality are going to affect uh, edge quality and what those different finishes are, how are you, given what pump and specification you have, what kind of uh, output can you do in regards to uh, number of heads or orifice selection. Uh, so this can really be helpful if you are in a prototype shop and you've got some different materials, uh, things that come your way, and um, you want to try to learn uh, or teach new operators 
uh, how to pick the best uh, application uh, combination for whatever that material may be. So we continually strive to add more value to uh, owning a water jet, uh, especially an A-series on this. Like I said, we, we do feel this is the, the best combination of features and design for the types of applications uh, that we're getting into in prototype labs, in um, uh, educational facilities, and even just a, a normal uh, job shop that is uh, doing smaller uh, amounts of work or uh, smaller plates. Uh, again, this has full production capacity, so uh, whatever you can do on a uh, different system, uh, you can do on a war jet. So uh, with that, we'd like to go out to Jeff, who's on the floor and wants to walk you through uh, one of our newer systems that we've uh, just installed on the demo floor. Take it away, Jeff. Well, we've got our new A0612 installed here in our demo area, which is pretty exciting. Got all the latest and greatest features on here. So we've got the enclosure, sliding door. Right now we're cutting some quarter inch aluminum and doing this with the, uh, the water level up. This is the automatic water level control, so you can bring that up when you're cutting to keep the noise down. So it does a, does a nice job on that. We've got the move controller here, touch screen, it's the part that we're cutting right now. So this can either be mounted on the side of the machine like this, or you can opt for one of the other uh, controller stands with a toolbox if you want to have a little bit of mobility to that. Up here we've got optional high pressure gauge, so a nice diagnostic tool. The operator can look up, see if the pump's on, see if that needle is staying nice and steady. Uh, so it's always nice to have that mounted where the operator can easily see that. Over here we've got the optional abrasive removal system. This is the LT version, smaller hopper. So ideal for uh, people of less floor space. So click this switch here, turns on the diaphragm pump. Magnet on this door here, it can open this up. And then you've got your diaphragm pump down underneath here. So down here you've got the piping for the abrasive removal system, taking the water from the abrasive tank to the hopper. So you've got a heavy duty strainer here, catch any little slugs that might make their way through the system. So very easy to open this up, clean out the uh, strainer that's in here. There's a compressed air connection, so if the pipes inside the tank do get clogged up ever, you just connect compressed air to that and blow those out. Quick couple uh, cool features with this new move interface that we have here. So that's the program that we just cut, and I'm currently at that start point where we started that program. So if we want to cut this program again, you can tap on this and click on Recut Ghost. It's going to reload that program, and it's going to leave that ghost image of the part that we just cut. So then I can just jog over, and if I tap on this, I can just bump this and get this as close as I want to the other one. So if you didn't nest out your parts, you're just doing a single part of the prototype thing. Very convenient just to be able to see where you cut your last part and get it close to the one that you just cut. So we're in position. I'll go ahead and bring up my water level. Close my door and start the program. One of the nice things about the water level control is it does help to keep the noise and the splash down. So even if you didn't have the enclosure with that water level control, you bring that water level up, put the little plunger around the cutting head, and it'll just sit there and gurgle away. get an idea of the noise difference. I can drop my water level down. Upper position of your water level is determined by the overflow there in the front left hand corner of the tank. So this slides up and down and you can set that to where you want your water level to be when it's at the high position. And then from there when you hit the 
water level down button, it'll just go down based on how much volume of air the ballast tanks can hold. So that setup showed quarter inch aluminum. This next setup that you'll see here is four and a half inch thick aluminum. Now while the A series has four inches of Z travel, it does have two cutting head mount positions of which you'll see now we've moved the cutting head to the upper position, which adds an additional three inches of cutting capability. So this becomes very useful in a material testing setting uh, or in a uh, scenario where you've got uh, uneven material to put under the, the head, which you'll see now we've gone ahead and uh, put a six and three quarter inch tube under uh, the cutting head and are able to trim uh, our logo in on the outside. So in this final setup, you'll see a very thick piece of glass that we've added to the table as well. So any application that you can do one of our on one of our larger systems, you can handle on an A-Series as well. So with the A-Series, what you're getting is all of the raw power of one of our larger systems in a very compact footprint, able to be put on your floor right next to other machinery or into a tight space. So now Jeff's going to show us a little bit about the enclosure that makes that uh, placing possible. If you purchase the enclosure option, you've got the sliding door, so it's got two positions. You can open it up part way if you want to check on your cutting, remove a little part. When you're ready to load, unload material, slide that a little bit further, and then this door will open, giving you full access so you can easily put on four foot wide piece of material. So on the Z carriage, first of all, we've got our mini hopper, which meters your abrasive down to the cutting head. Got a slider on the front of the mini hopper that controls how much abrasive is going down there. And you can adjust that based on the nozzle orifice combination that you're using. And then down below that, we've got our anti-backflow device. So if you should ever get water backing up the abrasive tube, then it should go out to one of these flappers before it gets into your mini hopper. Over on this side of the machine, we've got our bulk feed hopper. So this will hold about 85 pounds of abrasive. So one of the nice things about this is that you can refill this while the machine is cutting. So we don't pressurize this area. Just this vessel down here is pressurized and that'll push your abrasive over to the mini hopper above the cutting head. And up here under the covers, we've got the helical rack and pinion system. So same thing on the other side. And one of the unique features about this is this is mounted outside of your cutting envelope, so it's very well protected from your cutting environment. And then this is on the back side of the side beam here, further protected. So down here we have the return from the water coming back from the abrasive removal system. And then as we pan up here we have the high pressure line. We opted for the low profile high pressure line, horizontal whip. So this gives you overall machine clearance about 84 inches. You do need a little bit more room behind the back of the machine if you go with that option. If you want to mount this closer to a wall, then you go with the standard whip, and then you can just mount this a few inches off of the wall. I hope you've enjoyed this walk around of our A-Series machine. If you have any questions about this machine or any of our other machines, please give us a call or visit our website. Thanks.